I'm here with Megan, who is going to be the one doing my treatment today. Uh, she seems awesome so far. Went over the mask procedures, she checked my temperature, we went over little forms and stuff like that, and now we're going to get started. We're going to look at it at uh, 50 times magnification. Mm, okay. Then we're going to look at how much oil your scalp is producing. So do that. A lot. I really? can work for, I can okay. work for Exxon. Let okay. me tell you. Well, we have something for everything, so I'm glad you told me that. We're actually going to test for oil in just a second. Now watch, you're going to look at it and be like, your hair's not oily at all. This is called a sebum strip. It's actually going to um, tell us how much oil is on the scalp. Oh, okay. So it will turn a little bit black if there's any oil detected. Okay, sweet. So we're going to go right in this front area. There we go. And there's a little bit. You know, you can see just a little uh, bit. So not too bad. Nothing crazy. Okay. She's seen worse. Now is oil, that might be a common misconception. Is oil bad for your hair or is that just? No. No, not necessarily. Too much oil can be because of the fact that it can clog the pores of the scalp. Gotcha. And so that's a big part of what the treatment does is okay. unclog. And also the home care kit they're going to get. We're unclogging the pores of the scalp. We're balancing out, you know, the oil levels on your scalp. Okay. But, you know, oil is good for the hair, just not too much. Gotcha. Okay. Pictures. Just some profile pictures. You got it. Picks your hair up nicely. <laughs> I'm going to put this on Instagram. This is a nice, she said this is nice. Okay. I like that sound. I know, me too. It's very satisfying. That is a solid shutter sound. Microscope number one coming up. Scalp looks normal. It's got a lot of um, circulation, which is good. We see what areas we're taking pictures of. Yeah. And the progress gotcha. that we're making. So this is like the coolest software ever when it comes to hair loss because after we do this and then we do the width of the hair, um, we're going to give you your hair mass index number. Okay. So what that means is that we're going to be able to tell you exactly the rate of hair loss you're experiencing right now. Okay. And it's going to change over time. It's going to get better. That's the plan. It's amazing. So what are you, are you counting each, each, each strand of hair? Yeah. Back of the head was at 45. So anything below... 45 it's per um, square millimeter. Okay. Anything below that is considered thinning. Got it. So 40 and 40 and above, you're good. Okay. Where and this at? number is going to differ because back here usually everybody's hair is thicker. You're between mild and minimal hair loss. Down here at the control, it's probably because a lot of people don't have as much hair, you know because it's picking up a finer number. Yeah. It's saying moderate um, on the moderate side. But everything, um, all the hair on, on your head is going to change with the program. Which okay. Is great. So cool. it's not just going to be here. You're going to be growing in hair like you wouldn't believe. You're like, awesome. Oh my God. And, you know, I will be very happy with that. Working, you know? All right. So here we are. I had an issue with the camera and it wasn't recording because I didn't have enough space. But I figured that out now. So basically what you guys missed so far is she washed my hair and then made a an elixir of different products that was suited for my hair type. It's like proteins and vitamins. And now she put that in my hair and then put a warm towel over it and then this hair mask thing. And now I'm under infrared lights for 10 minutes. So, I'm just kind of sitting here relaxing now. And then when she comes back, I think we're gonna go over some of the um, products and stuff that they're giving me to take home. So I know how to use that stuff as well. Part two. Oh man. This is something you can definitely get used to. So what's up with those shampoos right there? What are they? So they are from, um, Hair Club has its own product line. Oh, okay. So they're from our other product line as well. So at all the shampoos and conditioners that we carry are the, um, 
The Maxim Hair Care line. So it's Hair Club's own products. They're made for fine and thinning hair. I just got my hair blow dried. And then we're gonna go over some products. She's going to get something called a strand builder. Strand builder. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully that like magically adds a bunch of strands of hair to my head. Cool. She just put it in my hair. I forgot to record it. That was my bad. But it's magnetic fibers that stick to my hair. And she, she put you it in. Lock them in with spray. Just a little bit of hair spray. No, it's in there. That's it. Very cool. Six minutes per day. Okay. It shuts off automatically. Okay, so I gotta worry about it. Yes. And I can just wear like a baseball hat. Exactly. exactly. And if you happen, it's like a smart device, so if you happen to lift it up, yeah, it turns it off. It turns off. Yeah, it's crazy. Love it. Yeah, six minutes a day, um, once a day. Capitalists. RX. Mm -hmm. Within uh, three to six months with this. Yeah. You should start to okay. see. Okay. So everything. I'm gonna count from the day. Yeah, Gosh. exactly. Right? Coupled with the um, EXT program. Mom massager. It's all like pieces of a puzzle. It works together. Put it all together. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, we like to keep you on a monthly schedule. Yeah, because I figured that that's how the products are yeah. scheduled. Look how much volume you need for that now. Yeah, Here. I'm gonna walk in the house. My wife's gonna be like, "Who's this?" <laughs> all right. I know it's like one layer, one layer. You're good. Uh, we also know that James was the bishop of the church in Jerusalem which was a, a huge hub of Christianity, of Judaism, of Roman authority in that time. So there's a lot going on in this time. So he was a pretty prominent figure. He was very esteemed and, and regarded. And we learn later that he wasn't a believer at first in Jesus, but after the resurrection is when he actually believed. Because think about it, if you're... That's crazy. Think about, like, if your brother <laughs> is going around saying, I'm the Messiah, of course your siblings are going to be the first ones to say, yeah, right, right, you know? Yeah. I think they, they mark it at 15, 15 minutes to read the entire yeah. book of James. Mm -hmm. so, so it is quite early in the morning, around 7. Caden woke up at, like, 6.30. I just gave him his bottle. He's just playing right now. Um, I... I have not pulled the camera in a bit and there are so many updates on Caden. He is growing so fast, so I want to share them with you. Um, I'm going to go make my coffee though because I am in need. We have our gate up. We're going to need another one because he is just crazy moving around everywhere. not the nicest day outside it's very rainy this kid is going all over the place he's crawling like crazy he's standing up he even attempted to crawl all the way up the steps at my parents house the other day and they have like carpeted steps but he went all the way up like assisted this kid's seven months. Like, what is going on? I am so not prepared for this. I've had to like baby proof my house as much as possible for right now, but I just can't leave him unattended. He just wants to go everywhere. Wanna bring those toys over? Yeah? Okay, let's bring these ones over. These are the Love Every toys. They're so cute. And he loves these. This one's cute because you can like, it's like pulling out a tissue. I'm like a tissue box, but it's all different colors of stuff. He's trying to get up. There's books. He really likes to look at the books. This is like all about the the packages. I got the five to six month and the seven to eight month. This one's really cute. He loves to play with that one. And then this one, you're supposed to like put these balls in here and like teach them how to get them in the hole. And Grayson actually got to the other ball. It was blue and he chewed it up. So, <laughs> um, 
Now, a lot of the other toys, they're just like so like obnoxious looking. You know, like all of these kind of toys, which he still loves. But these are actually really cute to like put on display in like your nursery. They just look really nice, super high quality, and I feel like even when he's a little bit older, he'll still enjoy playing with these. Oh, and he loves these little cards. These are really cute too. Bella was actually playing with him with these, showing him all these cards, but they're basically just like learning cards, and he loves to just like look at all of the sides and play with them. Really likes these. I think his favorite is the cat and the dog because they have like textures on them. Yeah, you like this one, huh? And then it comes with two books, which I really want to get into teaching him sign language just for basic things like um, this one is eat, drink, milk, more, all done. Just like little things like that. Um, oh, this is probably like his favorite thing. This little puzzle. I don't know what it is, but he's obsessed with this. He always plays with the cap. He'll like put this in his mouth. Um, and it's just a little baby. He loves this puzzle. These stackable cups also came in one of the kits and you can go like this. And these are also good for like sensory play, like if you wanted to put these in like water because some of them have like holes in the bottom, so like water can come out of them. Hasn't really got the whole concept of <laughs> stacking them, but you know, it's nice to help him learn. He always wants to grab the whole thing <laughs> and I try to get him to grab one at a time. But yeah, these have been really nice, like I'm really impressed with the quality. Their play mats and their toys have always interest me. Um, they just also look like aesthetically pleasing. A lot of toys that are around the house are not too appealing and you always want to like hide them and you know put them away. And I, I like to have all the toys in like little baskets and stuff so I can just you know put them to the side but our living room is always just filled with toys and I'm sure eventually when we have like a playroom, it'll be nice to like display certain things. And I don't even mind if these types of toys are out because they just look really nice. So it is like a subscription um, service and you know, it's not for everyone, but when you think about how much you're spending on just like regular toys at the store, um, you know, it can add up. So it is nice. It would even be nice for like a gift for someone. So I made my coffee. Um, I wanted to show you guys some things that I got for my essential oils. I just got this really cute like macrame little cover for my diffuser. Everyone on Instagram was asking where this diffuser is from, but it is from Young Living. And then I also have a little like coaster thing, which you don't even need to have these like together. I can put this on another one of my diffusers like in the living room, but I do like it together. It's like really cute little setup right here. Don't mind the mess in the back. I need to clean the kitchen. Um, but I want to link some things on Instagram for you guys too. This really cute tiered um, centerpiece off of Amazon. I got this blue little glass jar from Target. These eucalyptus leaves, this bundle is from uh, Amazon and this is from Amazon. I have this oil and glass book that I got from my sister-in-law. This is from Amazon. I can link this below, but there's a ton of recipes in here um, for families, for like pregnancy, um, a bunch of like baby stuff. There's like beauty, like skincare. There's so many things, health and wellness. So this is a really, really good book. I'll probably do a giveaway with like one of these books. Um, I wanna do a few giveaways for you guys. Not sure if I showed this, but, um, and I have some oils upstairs, so these aren't all of the ones that I have. Guys, I have so many oils 
not just from Young Living. Like I purchased from Grove and I've gotten so many on Amazon over the years. And I have a ton in here and then I have so many upstairs um, in my bedroom, but I have not touched them in so long. So I just am putting out my like Young Living collection over here and ones that I'm using like every day. These are from like the starter kit and then these are some of my refills of like the big ones. It's really nice, it's from Amazon. These drawers can actually like come out so you can probably fit like bigger products in here. It has a little drawer so I put some of my like roller things to make stuff. I got these little mini ones for diffuser bombs, some labels, these are some of my sample little um, oils, and then um, I have this. This is my all-purpose cleaner for Caden's toys and wiping down stuff for him. I just made my Thieves all-purpose cleaner with the household cleaner, just got this. So excited because you literally only need a cap full of this with just water and it will clean literally everything. Mirrors, glass, granite, just everything around the house. Another thing I got from Etsy, I'll show you in a second. Um, these are from Amazon, these like fake peonies. I got this from Amazon, this from Amazon. I have a bunch of stuff linked in my home decor or like home um, folder in my favorites uh, on my Amazon store. So you can check that out if you're interested. I ordered a bunch of these macrame, is that how you say it? Macrame um, car diffusers. And I ordered some of these to give away uh, in my little starter gift, kit gift. So I got a few different styles from different shops. These are so, so cute. So you basically hang them in your car and then you can drop your essential oils on these little beads right here and it'll diffuse through the car. Rainbow ones are really, really cute. I might keep one of these for myself because I love them so much, but I got a few for the starter kit. Several other things I'm gonna be putting in the gift as well. So this is just one of the things. Um, I'm probably gonna be giving away a roller, a thieves spray, um, a diffuser bomb, so I'm really excited about that. I just posted this on Instagram. I um, got the rest of my ER order. I've already showed this stuff and the Thieves Household Cleaner. I finally got these labels from Etsy. I had a bit of trouble putting this on. It was kind of hard and this one's definitely messed up, but I'm gonna be making two bottles of this to keep one upstairs and one down here, so maybe I'll just put the messed up one <laughs> upstairs. I just have like a lot of creases and I tried to like smooth it out with a card, but there we go. I got these labels off Etsy. I have more in here and these are the ones that I'm gonna use for my like little welcome kit. I'm gonna give some of these away with a bottle um, with some thieves, like a cap full of thieves. But I wanna show you guys what I got. I got purification, tea tree, grapefruit, lime, geranium, cedar wood, Northern Lights Black Spruce, Palo Santo, the Seedlings Calm, this is the baby line. Also got the linen spray and gentle baby. Uh, the lavender and the lemon I already got. Big ones of these because I go through them so much. These were the three free oils that I got with this little cheese board, it's really nice. Uh, black pepper vitality, orange vitality, and mountain savory vitality. Also got a roller of the CBD Calm, so I cannot wait to try that. Uh, and then I also got the fruit and veggie soak from the Thieves line. Um, and I had the household cleaner. I cannot wait to try more of the seedlings line. There was a lot of stuff out of stock. I have a lot more coming in my next ER order for September 1st. Uh, I don't know when I'll be getting that, but grapefruit, the lime, geranium, northern lights, black spruce, and the orange. I, I was gonna get a big bottle of this, but I actually got it for free. That whole combination, I'm watching Kaden because he keeps coming going for the gate. Uh, that whole combination is the Anthropology blend, uh, the volcano candle scent. So I cannot wait to try that, but I'm gonna give all these a smell right now. Very excited. Kaden is down for a nap, so I'm gonna have a little snack. This is kind of lunch. Um, I'm also gonna have a little bit of this chicken that I made last night, but I'm gonna have some avocado toast, 
on gluten-free bread with everything but the bagel seasoning and then carrots with mustard. Um, so, yeah.